Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I was in the mood for a little transformation and I've been inspired by that whole Victoria's Secret Angel, Charlotte Tilbury model kind of vibe. And it's cold and it's rainy today, so I thought it was the perfect day to sit around and just play with some makeup. So if you wanna see how I transform myself into this, then please keep watching. So to start, I used the Vita Liberata Body Blur. This is basically just an instant tan, but it's quite thick. I think it's also supposed to be like body makeup, but it just basically gives you a little bit of a tan and it washes straight off. But yeah, this is what I look like with a tan. Still pasty. So my plan is to go very dewy, but also to use quite thin layers to just build up coverage. Um, I don't wanna go straight in with anything too heavy. So to prime, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. Is anyone surprised? My skin is looking so much better today than it has in ages, so I'm gonna take advantage of that today. Next, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow in Peach Fizz, and I'm just going to highlight my face. And for foundation, I'm using my YSL Touche Clot in BD25 and my Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation in 120. So I'm gonna do half a pump of the YSL and one pump of the Fenty Beauty and we'll go from there. Next, under my eyes, I'm gonna take the tiniest bit of my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is in Vanilla. And just using my Stay Naked Concealer to cover up any blemishes. Next, taking my Touche Clot High Cover Concealer. I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit on my finger and highlight under my eyes. I'm using my NARS Liquid Bronzer in Laguna. For cream blush, I'm using NARS The Multiple in Orgasm. Next, to set anywhere that I get oily, I'm gonna use the Hourglass Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I'm just going to use a tiny, tiny bit of this. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Glow to set my cheeks. Okay, I'm quickly gonna go and do my eyebrows and I'll be back. Right. So for bronzer, I'm using my Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I'm just going to use a very small amount. So I'm gonna keep it pretty simple on the eyes and I'm gonna do something similar to my last video. So I'm just gonna grab the bronze shade from the Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette and I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush and buff that into my crease. Next, 
for my lid, I'm gonna take this very beat up color. It all fell out. Well, delightful. Okay, well, since that one completely collapsed on me, I'm gonna take this other And Other Stories eyeshadow. Uh, this is Crest Blossom. It's slightly more of a champagne-y gold kind of color, but it'll be fine. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and dab that onto my eyelid. All the makeup I've tried from Under the Stories is really good. I mean, besides the fact that one eyeshadow completely fell apart, but I've had these singles for about two or three years now. And they're really shimmery and pigmented. Like considering it's not a makeup brand, I actually think they perform really well. So yeah. if you're ever shopping in under the stories, maybe take a look by the makeup stand. Next, I'm going into my Beauty Bay Bright Palette and taking Peppy Pecan. You can just take any dark brown shade. I'm using an angled liner brush and I'm just going to give myself eyeliner basically. And taking a smudger brush, I'm going to take Peppy Pecan and line my lower lash line. For lashes, I'm going to use Colossal and Falsies. Okay, and I'm going to leave my bottom lashes bare. So for lips, I'm going to use MAC Strip Down to overline. And I'm using the new Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Lipstick. This is in the color Glazed. It smells like bubblegum. And I'm just taking a tiny bit of my MAC Lip Pencil in Saw to clean up the edges. And to set using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy set as always. So this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I absolutely love how this turned out, but then again, this is my go-to look for when I wanna feel really nice and really put together. So I know this is quite similar to looks that I've done on my channel before, but Payday is coming up next week and I'm planning to get some new products in to test and review for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see next and what type of videos you enjoy so I can put those up for you. I'd also just like to quickly say thank you to everyone who's watched my Il Maquillage review. It recently just hit 100 views, which doesn't sound like much, but it's the first 100 views I've had on a video. So thank you so much for watching. So please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'd absolutely love to have you on board. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'm using Mars the... Mars?